What's up? I'm Alex the Entrepreneur. This video covers Strapi latest feature, internationalization. With i18n, you can now create content in multiple locales while managing it from the comfort of the admin panel. In this video, I'll cover how to set up i18n, how to use it in the admin panel, I'll give you a few ideas on how to set up SEO for it, and I'll also discuss API routes to interact with it programmatically. The internationalization plugin is already bundled with Strapi 3.6. You can also manually install it with Yarn Strapi install i18n. Once you do so, you can go in the settings, check global settings, and then click on internationalization. You can add a new locale by just clicking on add a locale. And if you want to set this new locale as the default locale, then click on advanced settings and then check the checkbox for set as default locale. To create an i18n ready collection type, you can go in the content types builder, click on create new collection type, and then go in the advanced settings and check enable localization for this content type. Any new field you add will now be ready for multiple localization. If you want a field to be consistent between languages, for example, a price of a product, you can go in the advanced settings for that specific field and you can check out, i.e. remove the checkbox, for enable localization for this field. Notice that slugs will be different by languages. That's because each different locale is stored as a separate post. This is something to keep in mind as you get set up for SEO in your site. When you create a new entry that is enabled for localization, you'll see a menu on the right which allows you to change the current locale that you're working on. Each field will be marked with either a globe or a slashed globe, indicating whether they'll be different for each locale. For SEO, you could create a simple component which contains your SEO fields. This component will also be translatable as well. As for redirects, when switching between languages, anytime you fetch an entry, you also see a field called localization, which will list all of the IDs of the entries with a different locale. You can then use that ID as a way to either redirect or link to the entry in a different language. Let's talk about the API routes. Making a GET request will fetch entries in the default locale. If you wish to fetch entries in a specific locale, then you want to use the query parameter underscore locale and then followed by the specific locale code. For example, it dash all caps IT. Creating a new entry will create a new entry in the default locale, in this example in English. If you wish to create an entry in a specific locale, then you can also pass the body parameter locale followed by the value specified as the specific locale that you want to use. If you want to add a locale to an existing post or existing entry, for example, restaurants in this case, you will make a post request to the endpoint slash restaurants slash the ID of the entry that you want to add the locale to, then slash localizations, and then you will make again a post request with a request body containing the locale that you want to add in the body parameters. In the description, there's links to this doc that I'm showing you, which contains most of the information, as well as a uh, tutorial video by the Strapi team, which I highly recommend you check out. If you enjoyed this video, put the rocket in the comments, and make sure to subscribe and like it. You have an amazing weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.